Hello and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. And on this episode, I'll be talking about a Netflix show called Daybreak. It's a zombie show. And I know there's so many zombie shows, but this one is different. And I really enjoyed it. It takes place in Los Angeles. And basically, there's an explosion that happens. And the explosion turns most adults into zombies. They're called ghoulies in this show. And all the kids are still alive. And the show focuses around Josh. He's a transfer student um, from Vancouver. He just got to the school. He doesn't really fit in with anyone. And the story, the the show doesn't take itself seriously at all. Um, There's fourth wall breaking. Josh, for the majority of the first episode, is talking directly into the camera, directly to the audience. Um, There's plenty of like drawn out moments where characters uh, go into flashbacks or they draw something on screen and it it just it doesn't take itself seriously at all it's not a very serious show it's not trying to do something serious with the zombies or anything like that it's more so uh, growing up in the apocalypse humans dealing with humans teenagers dealing with teenagers with really no adults around Um, there are characters that you come to enjoy Uh, you have Josh His first rule is stay away from people, avoid people, because in high school, you have all these cliques, all these, you know, groups of people that hang out together. And that's how it is in the apocalypse. They the the groups of people that are usually together stay together. So there's a and they take territory in the town. So you have the jocks, mostly football players, some um, golfers. I don't I don't know why they just skipped everybody else, but the jocks stay together. They like own the school. Then you have like cheerleaders, they stay together. You have the nerds that stay together and they all have different names. That's really cool, but they all have their own sections of the town. And Josh is like a loner. He he goes around, he stays at certain places, he has a car, he, he keeps moving, he avoids people. And of course, he runs across some people. Uh, he comes across this girl named Angelica. She's really young. She's not even in high school. Uh, she's like, She's she's a firecracker. She loves fire. She loves blowing stuff up. Uh, he also comes across this guy named Wesley. He used to be a jock. He's a he was like the starting cornerback, and now he's a samurai. He's a ronin. He's he messed up, and now he's trying to be a pacifist and stuff like that. Uh, Josh's main goal is to find this girl named Sam. Uh, the really the only person he really clicked with um, while he was in school. Uh, they dated for a while, and he's really looking for her. Uh, you have Eli. He's a weird and strange character that you come across, but he's funny. Um, you also have Turbo. He's the leader of the jocks. He wears a mask. He doesn't really say much. People are afraid of him, and he wants to kill Josh for some reason. Then you have Miss Crumble, and you have Principal, Principal Burr. Uh, you see a lot of flashbacks of each character to see what they were going through before the explosion happened, and that that really makes you understand the characters better and it's again it's not a serious show it's 10 episodes in as you start watching it and again it could be background noise but you're i was interested in knowing more about the characters i was interested in what would what the outcome would be um there's twists and turns i think episode eight was probably my favorite that was like a flashback episode of of josh and Showing a lot of, you know, what happened to him um, prior to the explosion and, you know, what he was doing prior to the explosion. So it's it's a cool show. It's funny at times, a lot of cursing, um, but it's just a, a layback show. Not, nothing too serious. Again, it's I know it's zombies, but they don't really play a major part. They're not really dangerous, I would say. They they walk around they they walk around and they say the last sentence that they said when they were alive so you just hear them saying weird things and that's all they do they will eat kids if it comes to that they do respond to noise but they're not like the major threat in this show it's more so um the kids dealing with each other and you know without anybody in charge so it's a cool show it's called daybreak again check it out um let me know what you think about it um it's laid back there are zombies but it it makes you care about the characters and i really enjoyed the first season and i hope there's a second season but let me know what you think in comments like comment subscribe to the channel thank you for listening deuces